Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to today's video. I appreciate all you guys for tuning into this one. Uh, welcome, guys. For those of you who have just subscribed, I appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who have been giving me feedback on my last tutorials and everything like that, I appreciate it as well, man. You guys are just the goat straight up. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what y'all want from me, man. But anyway, welcome to today's video. For those of you who are just checking me out for the first time, my name is Dexter Washington Jr. and I run a web design and development company called Crafted Studios. We're Webflow expert partners as well. Speaking of Webflow, if you want to check out any tutorials that I've done on Webflow and you want to learn and get accustomed to the platform, there's a couple on Figma and Webflow, so go check out my previous videos. But other than that, welcome so what we're going to be uh, talking about today we're going to keep it lightweight we're going to be going over five different platforms that i like to go to for design inspiration and i highly recommend that you guys check these out because they give you you know an example of not only what's trending but they give you some of these platforms give you like a different perspective and in, in terms of how to approach layout fonts texture uh you know how to just think through certain designs and you know just what's out there so that's what we're going to be going over today without further ado let's just get into it let me close myself out and let's get started. So the first one that we have here out of the five is called sasslandingpage.com. So I really like SAS landing page because it gives you uh, an overall example of creativity and functionality. One thing about SAS uh, landing pages is they're focused on you know conversions. They're focused on business goals. They're focused on uh, information structure and data structure. They're, they're focused on getting demos and bookings. So a lot of the times they're not only creative, but they're really functional. They have a user experience focused type of design, and these are really good to study because these are some you know some things that you can apply to to your own design to you know achieve those business goals for your clients, and you know you get to kind of see you know, how they structure things. So let's take a look at a site. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's load more stuff. Let's see. I'm attracted to to typography, so I really like this. I might check this out. If we don't see anything else here, let's see. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think that's the move, y'all. I think that's the move. So let's check out Ever After. The cool thing about SAS landing pages is that you get uh, some of the information that was used to um, to pretty much build the site. So right here we have the typeface. So we have circular and oak. Uh, we have the different you know color uh, color swatches, and you can actually copy these. So you can pretty much take these over into Figma and play around with different color palettes and stuff if you want. Uh, we have the platform it was built on. In this case, Webflow. They're not all Webflow pages though. Some of them are built on React and and Next and and you know different platforms. So. But those, but this is what this is for to show you uh, how it was built, and this is landing page. I'm pretty sure this is categorized by by what type of page it is. So, um, in this case, landing page, and this is I'm assuming when it was launched. So, uh, let's just check out the site. See what we got here. Yeah, this is real nice. Just right away, I'm I re really do like what they did with the uh, typography and the illustrations so far. As I scroll, this comes down, which is really cool. Yeah, I like this. I've been wanting to get into illustrations, man, but I'm not I'm not that type of artist. <laughs> uh, this is nice though. And real quick too, I love this I love this font. And yeah, we understand what type of typeface it is already, but let's say for example we didn't, right? We can go over here to web font, right? And web font is gonna show you what uh you know if the information is available, which font that they used, right? So let's click on this one and we can see that you know we have information now on on uh you know what family it is style weight etc etc and you can download this as a google chrome extension and uh, you just you know you just can run it on whichever site you please and uh pretty much yeah just, just get information on what type of typography it is so one of my favorite tools i like this though really smooth cool so that is sasslandingpage.com let's move over to the next one the next one we have Moosely. So I really like Moosely, and as you can see, it is also a Google Chrome extension. The cool thing about Moosely is that it is also a search engine. So it kind of shares space with Google and Moosely inside of your uh, web browser. So once you you know pretty much load this up, what you're gonna come to is a page like this, and let me delete this. You're gonna come to a page like this. Let's go home. So you're gonna come to a page like this, and pretty much you have options to either search Moosley or search Google, and that's really cool too. And the thing is, since this is a search engine, if you type in something like web design, right, 
it's going to give you web design tutorials. It's going to give you uh, web design, uh, you know, inspiration. It's going to give you articles around web design. As you can see, I'm right here in the category called culture. If we move over to all results for web design, though, we're going to get, you know, tons of different places from different platforms even. So we have Dribble here. It uh, looks like this might be Uplabs. Yep, Uplabs here. Um, you know, we have sometimes direct designers once in a while, like this, like this person here. I think that's, uh, I think that's an individual. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Nonetheless, though, you get tons of different resources from all different angles on the internet, and that's really cool just to see what's going on. And um, yeah, I highly recommend that you check this out. You know, you can spend some time here, see what's going on, see what's trending. Uh, you know, read up on new articles and everything like that, which is really cool. So Moosley, uh, it's a Google Chrome extension and check that out when you can. So next we're entering awards territory, right? And like, you know, there's some criticism about some of these platforms for them not being user experience focused or functional in the real world, yada, yada. But I really do think if you look at it from a creative standpoint and try to think of it like, okay, some of these websites, they're directed by art directors and creative directors, and they're overseen by a bunch of different people. And they're put together to create this experience for the brand that's like no other for a campaign that might be going on. Or, you know, this is also a really strong PR move for brands as well, right? If you win an award, you're going to be seen by all the people that uh, they come on this platform. Awards is also really, really good in the search engine. So that also plays a part in this too. So there's a lot of different pieces that go into being on these award platforms as well. <clears throat> Not just design that you want to think about when it comes to branding, brand equity, and, you know, really just building the strength in community and brand, right? So with that being said, let's take a look at a site from awards. I'm not going to go too far into it, but let's just check something out. Let's go here. Since this is the first one, these are the previous winners, it looks like. This might take a little bit to load. My apologies. The loom is starting to slow things down. Oh, that's smooth. This is a loading page or something? Yep. Oh, right here. Little numbers were loading. I like it so far. Oh, that's fire. I like how that loaded in. Um, I'm trying to scroll and there's nothing. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so I so there's no scrolling available here at all. That's interesting. Let's see if we go to the menu. Ooh. Okay. I like that interaction, like a like an elevator or something. Okay, now I can scroll. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. This is cool. This is really well designed. I love the inter the uh, interactions and animations. <clears throat> and that's a really. That's really another thing, too, when it comes to, you know, the awards platforms. They get to show you how they manipulate, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> interactions and animations and, you know, the level of creativity that they, they offer to these sites, right? And, you know, sometimes, you know, Webflow doesn't have the same fluidity, but you can still kind of, you know, design and build something that feels a little bit similar and creates an experience like no other using Webflow, too. So, you know, if you want to at least kind of, like, practice and get better at your animations and you're inspired by something like this then yeah i can totally see that as well so yeah awards is a really dope site check that out when you can let's hop over to the next one and this is called the webby awards i think or weeby either way uh webby weeby nonetheless they're honoring the best of the internet on this here website and the cool thing about this is too is it's not only a platform for web design itself uh but this is awards just for the general internet so you can check out some you know some some it's not only about websites but it's about platforms it's about people it's about movements and, and brands so a uh, really cool place to kind of just scroll around and check things out so let's actually check out a website real quick and see what we got um okay let's see oh it didn't give me a site let's check this out though let's go to architecture art and design Might be taking a little bit to load, but let's just see here. So yeah, you know, we have some sites here as well, as you can see that are loading in. And um, yeah, they're uh, uh, Webby winners of this year, I see, and some nominees, honorees. Um, and yeah, just, I'm not too sure how often they, pr they put out these awards, but um, yeah, I think I've seen this site before too. This is really, I think this one's really cool. 
But nonetheless, though, the Webby Awards is another cool place just to kind of gather inspiration and check out the platform. So I'm going to close some of this out, though. Um, starting to slow up with all this, trying to load up all this code. Where do you check these sites out? Yeah, this is really cool. Looks like it was optimized for Mac, though. Let me see. Let me scroll out. Yeah. This is cool. I don't understand the language, of course. See, I can translate this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is cool, though. I do like the feeling of this. I like the fonts, um, the colors. This is awesome. But yeah, the the Webby Awards, check that out. Lastly, <clears throat> excuse me. Lastly, we have the CSS Design Awards. Uh, once again, another place, uh, another award platform that you can check out and kind of get inspiration of layout, typography, texture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, yeah, I like this platform. Um, you know, it's strictly about web websites and uh, mobile sites, and and uh, of course they give scores and everything like that. But let's try to find another site real quick before we head out here. Hope you guys had a good one and you enjoyed this video as always. Feel free to subscribe. But before we get to that, let's check this out. Do do do. Oh, okay, okay. I like this. Are we inside the site now? I, no. Okay. Yo. All right. This. <laughs> okay. This is wow. This is just a flex. What's going on here? What is this? This is what is this? How do you even achieve that? That's crazy. So as I'm scrolling, um. These are changing. These are case studies. It looks like this is nice. Uh, is there a menu of some kind? Like, what's going on? Um, okay. Either my internet is slow or these buttons aren't functional. Okay. Wait a minute. Did we just... Oh, see, this guy is putting me through like a, a, a world of emotions right now. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, this guy's putting me through the blender trying to figure this out. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fire. I like that. This is crazy. This is really creative. I like this. Animations are on point too. Yeah, this is nice. This is cool. You know, it's just it's just cool, right? It's awesome. I like this. So, yeah, guys. So, you know, check these out. Of course, you know, not all the sites are as intense as that. Um, sometimes, we, you know, we do get good ones that are focused on the user experience. Nonetheless, though, uh, browse around and see what you find and uh once again focus on typography layout texture um the thinking behind it the art direction behind it just the whole entire experience because web design now isn't just you create something uh you know and you dust your hands off and you move forward to the next one right you're really creating an experience you're really creating uh, something that's functional something that's creative something that makes sense for the brand um and yeah you know i i think web design companies at at, at this point are in a really good position to really do game changing work. So, you know, study, see what you can see what you can do. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I appreciate you guys for watching if you made it this far. Um, once again, uh, thank you for subscribing ahead of time. There's more videos to come. Check out my tutorials, leave some comments below, all that good stuff, man. I'm listening to all your feedback and uh, I'll make more videos as as you guys as I learn a little bit more about you guys, right? So take care, enjoy your day, talk soon.